Today's episode features guests whose businesses are inspired by nature. Jay Harmon has developed a number of successful high-tech companies and won numerous design awards. He now applies natural geometries to design energy-efficient, quiet, and eco-friendly technology. I had an aha moment. I worked out how to freeze one of these whirlpools. So I froze a whirlpool. And this actually is a frozen whirlpool. This is, imagine just pulling the path, plug out of any bath anywhere in the world. You're going to get exactly the same shape. In the southern hemisphere, it's the other way. And if you froze it, and that's the secret sauce, I don't tell people how I froze it, that's what you end up with. And these shapes are all the streamlines of a whirlpool. Then what I discovered, this is about 20 years ago, what I discovered is every whirlpool, or vortex, or eddy, in our known universe is built to exactly the same algorithm. It's got the same mathematical construct with four variables. So once you have that reverse engineered, now you can reinvent the entire industrial world. That's everything from turbines to pumps to fans to heat exchanges, because heat travels this way. If you light a candle and you look carefully, you'll see the heat is actually turning off in this direction. My next guest, Bruce Hammond, is a general contractor that specializes in building high quality residential and commercial projects with particular emphasis on energy efficiency, resource conservation, and durability. He also certifies green building professionals in sustainable architecture and design. As a builder, my long-term passion is to be constructing in a way that doesn't do environmental damage. That's fundamental. I want to, as a builder, be actively engaged in the design and development of projects that look to lessen environmental impacts comprehensively and keeps providing a lasting relationship with that site that uh, enhances the lives of the people there for years to come. Increasingly in the marketplace, what we're finding is green at no additional cost. For the most sophisticated green buildings in the construction marketplace, lead platinum, lead gold projects, they're seeing a four to six percent premium for those buildings. So. Not much. We hear all the time about, oh, somebody did this green building and geez, it was, you know, six, eight, eight hundred dollars a square foot, you know. Not all of that is because it's green. Some of that's because they're buying $45 a square foot tile that has, you know, nothing to do with whether it's green or not.